see you too of the peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. The last batch got done. It made quite a few. I made, um, I already had done two cookie sheets full and they cooled and then I transferred them and then I finished the batch up and we got another full to two trays. It also depends on how big you make your cookie too. To how many how many you'll get out of it. There's your chalk. I kinda pressed them down a little bit with the fork too. But they're nice, they're nice. Nice and warm. The browns got golden. I love when you eat warm cookies. Right out of the oven. The chocolate chips are still a little bit melty. But this is so easy to do. <coughs> it's just my chocolate chip cookie recipe. And then I added peanut butter. And then I had to add a little bit more flour to it to make it, you know, more sturdier of a cookie. And then now remember you, I had to see my sweet chocolate chips. But you could use milk chocolate, dark chocolate, whatever you want. You could even throw you a handful of peanut butter chips if you want that in there. So, I hope you enjoy this recipe. Make you some. Um, but this was a little sweet treat since we're snowed in and everything. So, a little sweet treat for after dinner tonight. I'm going to have me a cup of hot tea. Jamie has to have his coffee when he has cookies. See you in the next episode of Simply Sarah. Bye, everybody. Also, oh, I forgot also to tell you. I kind of messed up and said put your oven on 375. That's not what I was supposed to say. I was supposed to say 350. But I'll have that all written down up under the videos of everything that goes in the cookies and the correct time to, to bake them, the temperature. Bye, everybody.